What's up, y'all? Welcome to the From Chaos to Clarity Unleash Your Business Potential Podcast. I'm your host, Sonia Jones of GIP Financials and Mr. Miyagi Omani. And we are here at episode two of Full-Time Entrepreneurship. So thank you so much for joining again. So if you have not, first of all, checked out episode one of this series, make sure you do that. Because when we're talking about full-time entrepreneurship, I want to make sure that I gave you tips from the personal side and the business side. So just a quick, quick recap. Um, When we talked about the personal, we talked about one, you got to determine what's your, what I call your magic number, right? What's the number, what's the amount of money that you have to replace from your job um, in your business? And let me be clear, when we're talking about that magic number that you have to replace, it's not coming from your gross revenue, it's coming from your profit. So that means the information from your gross sales, minus your expenses, whatever that number is, that's the number that we um, need to have, right, in order to replace your income. But when you're talking about your income, not only are we talking about your net income, your take-home pay, but also your health benefits, your retirement, maybe any type of supplemental disability that you may be getting from your job. And also, if you have garnishments, you got to take those things into consideration as well. Second thing, to create a budget. You got to create a home budget, right? In the last episode, I said you need at minimum a year of planning, right? In preparation to transition from your job, at least a year, okay? To save and plan, shop around for benefits, all that good stuff, right? So in your budget, we're talking about recording your net income, recording your expenses, and then whatever's left from that, that's what you use for your savings and to pay off any debt. The optimal situation before you transition to a full-time entrepreneurship is to not have any debt, not any debt outside of your mortgage and maybe your, your car notes, right? And also to have a significant amount of savings put aside, right? Because life be life, <laughs> okay? So there's that. And before we get into the business part of this, again, if you have not um, opted in to our ebook, our free ebook, The Financial Freedom Roadmap, make sure that you get that as well because it's giving you tips. Pretty much what I'm talking about here, I'm just giving a surface level, but in the ebook, we talk about it more in detail. Okay? So let's talk about the business side. How do you prepare your business before you being a full time entrepreneur? So first thing, you know, if you know me, you know, I'm going to say these three words all the time. Know your numbers. You got to know your numbers, right? If you don't know what your business is doing, how much money is coming in, how much money is going out, you're going to be jacked up. (laughs) Excuse me. All right. So you got to know your numbers. How are you going to do that? You need to organize your business finances, right? You need to know where every penny is going in and out of your business and how you do that you got to do it by tracking it whether you have accounting software right the one of your choice right we at gip financials we endorse quickbooks because we are quickbooks pro advisors or if accounting software is a little intimidating for you we also have a formula based spreadsheet called the diy tracker that um, you can track your income and expenses in and it will automatically calculate your profit and loss um, your balance sheet as well as give you some very basic cash flow information and as long as you have something that's going to track what you're doing you will be on the right path okay another shameless plug if you don't know how to organize your financials july 10th and 17th we will be hosting the know your numbers boot camp formerly known as the Tax Prep Bootcamp. So we're going to walk you through how to review your financials for the month, okay? And if you sign up for um, the Know Your Numbers Bootcamp, that DIY tracker I was telling you about, you actually get that as part of the training, okay? And that's a done with you live training with myself as well as our accounting manager, Latasha Phillips, and some of our other team on 
on our February and April boot camps, we had one of our staff accountants, Diamond David, with us as well. So you get three live people walking you through how to organize your financials, your income and expenses, as well as how to reconcile your accounts. And we'll walk you through um, the reports that you need, your balance sheet, your profit and loss. And if we have time, we'll do the cash flow statement as well. Okay, so there you go. You leaving your job to pursue full-time entrepreneurship and 30 days later, two large tree branches from your backyard tree hit your home, resulting in a six-month renovation process. So you know what? That happened to me, but I'm so glad that I was able to plan properly from that transition that my family's lifestyle wasn't severely impacted. So my side hustle CEOs out there, if you are seriously thinking about full-time entrepreneurship, I got four words for you. You need a plan. In my ebook, The Financial Freedom Roadmap, I'm walking you guys through my journey, giving you five tips on how to not only plan for your exit the financially smart way, but most importantly, it is not going to, I hope so, to reduce any major disruptions to your family's lifestyle. So if you're interested in that free ebook, click the link below. And I look forward to working with you and I would love your feedback. Take care. So no excuses, right? So you got to organize your business financials. And then once you have them organized, you got to look at those numbers, right? And be honest with yourself about some things. So what I like to call it is you're fine tuning your numbers. So not only do you have to organize your numbers, but you also have to do some fine tuning. So let's start with income, for example. So if you're tracking your income, and if you offer different products and or services, I will look to see which products or services are selling the most, right? Because you have to think long term. If the goal is for you to transition into full-time entrepreneurship, you got to keep doing what works, right? Get rid of the products or services that aren't profitable to you and continue to run the ones that are, because that's going to bring you in more profit in the long run, right? So that's the first thing. When it comes to your expenses, trim the fat, y'all, right? If you got any unnecessary subscriptions that you're not using anymore, cut them off. Get, get your expenses to the bare minimum. That's going to help you, you know, keep your business running, right? Because that will help you increase your profit which will get you closer to your magic number to replace your job income. All right. So it's as simple as that. You got to get your business finances organized and you got to fine tune your numbers. That's it. One, two, right? So just another thing that I want to make sure that I continue to emphasize is that you cannot quit your job until your business is consistently profitable. That's why I said you need at least a minimum of a year of planning. A minimum of a year, right? Because that one, as you're planning, you know, and saving stuff on, on your personal side with your job, but you're also tracking what you're doing in your business. This may be the time for you to get a coach or... um an expert for your numbers, you can you can engage with GIP and we can walk you through that. If you have a goal, or we can give you some scenarios that would be most ideal and then also kind of give you a more realistic timeline on how you're going to be able to do that, right? So this will be the time. Do not try to do this flying solo, y'all. It don't work like that because <laughs> when I transitioned, I had several coaches <laughs> before I... I took the leap, right? So I'm just being honest with you. This is not a decision that, you know, it goes, of course you want, if you're, you know, married and stuff like that, you, of course you want your husband or your wife in the loop with you. But from a business standpoint, you got to have an A team that's going to be honest with you about what you're thinking to say, no, nah, doc, you probably need, you probably need, need to think about full-time entrepreneurship until about two or three years from now. 
right? That's why I said at minimum a year, because it's going to take some discipline and some organization for you to get where you need to be, right? And then to think about this as well, financial freedom, that term is different for in for different people. That term sounds different for other people. Who's to say that you can't, um, instead of like full-time entrepreneurship, you could have a part-time job and still do your business, right? That's what I did on my first go-round when I left my teaching job. I still had not only um, my piano studio income, I saved, but I also had my piano studio income. I took a part-time um, music teaching gig. And once the music teaching gig was over, I went to uh, do some part-time administrative work as well. But I didn't have GIP then. <laughs> I had some other business opportunities, right? And so even in that, so just be thinking about that. As life continues to life, right? You might have to, you know, after full-time entrepreneurship, do some contract work or um, do some part-time work in order to, you know, make ends meet. Because sometimes sales are going to do this, that, and third, right? And there's nothing wrong with that. So financial freedom, um, the definition is different for different people. So be thinking about, like, when you leave your job, what do you want your life to look like, right? So just be thinking about that. All right, so that's what I have. I know it was short and sweet on the business side, but I wanted to give you the real on full-time entrepreneurship, okay? So again, check out the Financial Freedom Roadmap. It's our free ebook that's gonna give you information on how to do this transition the smart way, okay? And if you need you know, to engage us, we can definitely do some coaching with you. Um, schedule a discovery call with us to see if we're a good fit and then we can provide um, the options from there. All right. So again, I sign you Jones of GIP Financials, your Mr. Me, I Get Money. Thank y'all so much for tuning in to the From Chaos to Clarity Unleash Your Business Potential podcast. See you guys later. Thank y'all so much for listening to the From Chaos to Clarity Unleash Your Business Potential podcast. Again, I'm Sonya Jones of GIP Financials. You're Mr. Me, I Get Money, but I got a couple of homework assignments for you before you leave this episode. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And also leave a comment and let us know what your biggest takeaways were from this episode. And if you are looking for bookkeeping assistance or you need a money thought buddy, make sure that you go to our website, www.gipfinancials.com and click on the schedule a consultation button at the top of our website, little green box. And you can schedule a discovery call and talk to one of our teammates to see if we're a good fit. All right. See you guys on the next episode. Take care.